I'm sure many of you are aware that February is Black History Month. Now, historically, the left, the progressives, the liberals, like to co-opt this and use it to push their narrative. In today's video, I would like to share quotes from four prominent African Americans, and then later on we're going to watch a clip from one that perhaps you might not have heard of. We'll start in the upper left here with Morgan Freeman. As long as you feel like a victim, you are one. These are actual quotes. Will Smith, upper right. Throughout life, people will make you mad, disrespect you, and treat you bad. Let God deal with the things they do, because hate in your heart will consume you too. Denzel Washington. Everything you think you see in me, everything I have accomplished, everything that I have is by the grace of God. Understand that. It's a gift. And then one of my personal favorites, military guy, David Goggins. Stop making excuses. Stop being a victim. Take personal responsibility. You see, these are the narratives from African Americans that they don't like to really roll out because it doesn't agree with their agenda. People taking personal responsibility, denying victimhood. There are so many other great quotes, too. I was watching a speech from Denzel yesterday when I was working out, and it was amazing to hear him talking about falling forward. He never understood the concept of having something to quote-unquote fall back on. Which is all the left is trying to push right now. Universal basic income. Checks from the government. Always looking to government to be there as your safety net. The politics of victimology. And getting back at people who make you mad or disrespect you. That is who they are now. Here's a guy you might not have heard of. His name is Maj Touré. And he was on the uh, opening day of CPAC yesterday with Tommy Lahren and Lawrence Green. And they were asking him a specific question about some legislation in Washington. And he gave an absolutely amazing answer. It's a 9 minute and 45 second clip. And you have to hear what this man says because it echoes what I have been trying to elucidate to my audience about states' rights and how powerless D.C. really is. So let me get the volume adjusted here real quick, and I will let you listen to Maj Touré. Yeah. Maj Touré of Black Lives Matter, and I'm glad we just let you down. Yeah. You're at CPAC again. Yeah. You've got a message. I want to talk to you about what Biden's going to do and his attorney general pick, Mayor Garland, because he's already talked about gun control. Yeah. He's already said if that's what Biden wants, that's what he's going to get. What are you most concerned about? I'm not concerned. Not concerned at all. I'm not concerned. I'm not concerned at all. Now, this guy runs a website, basically, that promotes self-protection for people of color. And everybody that I've seen has been putting in my comment section all about HR this, HR that, HR the other. This guy's not concerned. But let's listen to the reason why he's not concerned. Um, I think they're overplaying their hand. And I think most Americans see it. I think that telling people that have been out of work for a year at this point saying on day one, we're going to have those $2,000 checks out of the door. How many days has it been? You know, I think that the, the ideology that, you know, a lot of those guys on the left and women have on the left of just say a thing, get in the position and then do the exact opposite. At this point, America's woke from that. And I think that they're overplaying their hand tremendously. So I'm not concerned. If I was concerned, it, I would have to believe that Americans, A, don't see it and or B, believe it. You know, and I don't think anybody believes it. I think that they were hoping they put a. This is the key of the book. They put a dude with dementia in the seat, 
manipulate. So they can manipulate. And I think everybody, right, left, whatever, Americans, if you if you identify as left, cool. We just haven't read the same books yet. You know, however, you see it. And I know that you see it. And maybe time will have to die down before, you know, you miss President Trump or you miss the money that was made or whatever your reason is. No, I, I'm not concerned at all. I think the, the dangerous part is on the state level. I think that on the state level, I think there's things, H.R. 127, um, which is, in essence, pretty much saying, like, hey, guys, and that's not Biden, that's per se. Yeah, you're talking about $800 yeah. in, in insurance right after a lot oh, of people have been left yeah. off work. Can you explain? All right, I'll leave that there, and I will uh, give you a link so that you can watch the rest of that. But basically, the idea is this. He's more afraid of what certain states might do or not do. And that's why it is so key. I have shown the maps a thousand times of where the states to get out of are and where the states to live are and where you're going to be safe and where you can trust your state government. I'll set it before I'll say it again. Michigan, Pennsylvania, Wisconsin, Minnesota, Illinois, they're lost causes. There are too many, quote-unquote, establishment rhino Republicans in the conservative movement to be able to trust anybody. Those states have to collapse before they can be rebuilt properly. There are some other states that are maybe a little bit more borderline, but you're safe in the South. There are over 100 bills before 28 different states right now that are going to fix what happened in November. Now, also, our governor spoke once again, and he talks about and hammers again, specifically, some points that I've been talking about for a long time, about getting away from just the platitudes and the rhetoric, and dealing with facts, being educated, and understanding how to win. Not necessarily feeling good about winning, just how to win. This is a four-minute clip. I'm going to play a little bit of this for you, so you can listen to Governor DeSantis talk about the way forward. Our laurels this year, Florida is leading on banning all forms of ballot harvesting and banning third party and banning third party political groups like those funded by billionaire Mark Zuckerberg from interfering in the administration of our elections. Bottom line is this in Florida, your vote counts, and we will continue to have a process that is transparent and that inspires confidence. Florida is also leading in protecting our people from political censorship and in holding big tech accountable. When our legislature convenes next month, it will pass and I will sign the most ambitious reforms yet proposed for, for combating political censorship and deplatforming, for preventing big tech from interfering in our elections, and for safeguarding the privacy of your personal data. In Florida, we are not going to let the terms of the debate in our country be set by oligarchs in Silicon Valley. Now, Florida is leading on the issues that matter to conservatives. We don't spout hollow rhetoric. We take decisive action. And what's true in Florida is true for conservatives across the nation. We cannot, we will not go back to the days of the failed Republican establishment of yesteryear. We reject open borders and instead support American sovereignty and the American worker, building a movement on the foundation of amnesty and cheap foreign labor. Late labor is like building a house 
on a field of quicksand. We reject weakness in the face of the threat posed by China, including their actions in international trade. We reject military adventurism, instead support a strong defense solely for the purpose of protecting our nation and its people. Now the battles ahead will be made more difficult without the voice of one of our greatest field generals, my friend, Rush Limbaugh. On Wednesday, the state of Florida had the flags flown at half staff in honor of Rush, in honor of his legacy. Rush displayed the courage of his convictions time and time again. Rush was one of the first to fight and win against cancel culture. Rush showed that fighting the left requires strength and that conservatism devoid of backbone is doomed to fail. So at this moment in our history, and I think Rush showed us this, but particularly now, standing for the right things comes at a cost. You will be attacked, you will be smeared, and you may even be canceled by the major organs of the political left. Now anyone can spout conservative rhetoric. We can sit around and have academic debates about conservative policy. And I'm not saying you don't do any of that, but the question is, when the Clegg lights get hot, when the left comes after you, will you stay strong or will you fold? So enjoy CPAC in Florida as you leave to go back home. Although if you're not from here, I don't know why you'd want to leave here. But when you do and you engage in the battles ahead, hold the line, stand your ground, and don't ever, ever back down. Thank you. Now, just to add a little bit to what he said there, to be able to do what he just suggested, you have to be educated. You have to have knowledge. Every clip I have ever shown of Governor DeSantis taking down a liberal reporter was based on the fact that Ron DeSantis knew more about what the reporter was trying to talk about than the reporter did. Applied knowledge is power. I use that in another video. You have to stand up. You have to educate yourself. And you cannot... Make excuses. You cannot be a doom and gloomer. Oh, elections are lost. Oh, poor little us. The left is going to la la la. You cannot do this. We have to start taking personal inventories, personal responsibilities. In 2016, 17, did we just high five and have a few drinks and then decide that Donald Trump was going to save everyone? Well, that's what a lot of people did, to be very honest. And they stopped advocating for conservatism in their local regions, in their local areas. And that is how you win. They were talking about that at length today in another clip, another video at CPAC, how it's really boiling down to the states. And the states are boiling down to the localities. And I know this is a little bit of tough love, but those on the right are going to have to, to listen to what the governor just said. Anybody, anybody can go, get up and spout conservative rhetoric. It's when you do the hard work of it. It's when you stop making excuses. That's when it's really going to start to hit back and hit back with some force. We cannot continue this, oh, we were victims of this machine or that plot or this scheme, we've got to let that go. And these four men, African Americans, outline this. Everything we have, everything we've accomplished, everything that we ever will have will be by the grace of God. Nothing happens outside of his sight. And when bad things happen to us, you've got to let it go and let God deal with them and move forward. Just like Denzel said in his Speech, fall forward, stop making excuses, stop being victims, 
Take personal responsibility because as long as you feel like a victim, you will be one. Maj Ture, Morgan Freeman, Will Smith, Denzel Washington, and David Goggins. And Governor Ron DeSantis, all showing the way forward. God bless, like, share, subscribe. We'll see you next time.